Oh, it smells good. Oh. That's a feast. They're coming back. Come on, get over here. Not in there, he might pick it up. So. God, let's eat. Eat what? The dog's got it. Spill a throw it at him to keep him off the scent. Quick thinking, that. Pity you have to throw all of it, though, isn't it? Downstream. Jeez, where did you get it? We'd better get this up to your camp. Three full boxes of matches. <laughs> He's nearly as good as you, Father. <laughs> I don't know how he does it. I'd like to know where it all comes from. Mm. When's he coming again? This evening, he said. <sighs> He's a public benefactor. That's what that spiller is. Any more of this wool? It's all over the brambles. We'll be warm as toast tonight. Mm. It'll need to be. It's turning frosty. Has Spiller got a family? Not anymore. But he remembers his mother. That's how he knows his surname is Spiller. What's his first name? It's Dreadful. Well, never mind, you can tell us. <laughs> no, that's his name, Dreadful. He remembers his mother saying at the table once, you're a dreadful spiller, you are, she said. <laughs> I must ask him where his family lived. No, Mother, don't. You mustn't ask him questions. He hates it. If you ask him questions, he stays away. All right, Harriet. I promise I won't ask him any more questions. <laughs> Evening, Spiller. Evening. Quite chilly tonight, don't you think? <laughs> I mean, if you don't mind me asking, that is. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if there was a frost. No. Elderberry wine, that is. Ah. It's good. It'll keep you warm. Mind you, I was brought up a tea turtle. Makes it in a watering can. Who does? Pours it out the spout. Mild, eh? Mild, eh? Mild, eh? The tinker has had this boot. The one with the dog. You mean you borrowed it from him? He stole it. He's probably still looking for it. I hope he isn't. <laughs> it's getting dark. I'd better be going. Oh, stay for supper. I've got things to do. What things? Where? Why do you always have to go? Why can't you just... I'm sorry. He'll come back. I wish I'd never asked him those stupid questions. 
He's a strange one, Spiller. Keeps himself to himself. <laughs> Come on. This wind's cold enough for snow. It's a sort of punch. <laughs> Grog. Do us all the power of good. Well, just a drop more. As long as it's medicinal. Oh, Pod, look at those stars. Oh, how many are there, Pod? Uh, one, two, three. Hundreds. Why are there two moons? I don't know. Look, she's asleep, bless her. Time we all were. Mm. Come on, Arietti. Time for bed. Come on. We'll sleep well tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, love. Come to bed. Who are you? Spiller. You're a borrower, aren't you? Do you know another one called Arietti? What if I do? I'm her friend. You're a human. Doesn't make any difference. No, doesn't it? They live around here, don't they? They was. What do you mean? They've been got. Who by? The rat catcher. They was in his boots, see? You don't reckon they're still in it? Well, they ain't here, are they? They must have taken them back to the caravan. Come on, let's go. You're daft. He won't let you have them. And what am I going to do? I've got a plan. You mean you're going to help me? No. I mean you're going to help me. Oh, you're under there. Come on out. There's no need to be scared Stop. of me. 
I'll treat you right. I'll get you a nice big cage, I will. <laughs> I'm gonna get you! There's no escape. Even if it takes me all day. You're gonna be worth lots to me, you are. Don't worry, I'm coming back. And if I were you, I'd stay where you are. He's gone. Right, get ropes, pins, anything. Put up with that sort of nonsense. Who does he think he is? Overgrown furball. <laughs> what? What are you smiling at? So mufflers onto you, is he? Get on here! Get out! You ain't having Clear off out of here. Go on, get out. What's under there? You knew, didn't you? It wasn't rats, was it? It was little people, like she said. And you had one in your pocket, didn't you? Are they under there? Yeah, got them trapped. Let's have a look. I could get them for you. Bet I can reach under there. Yeah, I reckon you could. Let me try. Don't try anything funny, all right? Can you see him? Get in the tin. What would you say? Nothing. Spiller. I want him to rescue you. Get in. Can you see him? Come on. I can't. You must, Mother. Who's going on down there? Here, yeah, what's going on down there? Here, yeah, I know what you're up to. You've got them in there, ain't you? You've got them in there. You've got them in there. You've got them in there. Come here! Come here, you little brat! I'll eat you alive! Come here! Oh, it's stupid, little good stuff! Just put that tin down! Just put the tin down! And you go! That's all right with me! Give me the tin! Give me the tin! Give me the tin! Give me the tin! Come on, give me the tin! 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 Give me the tin
me a check. Come on, give me a check. Is it? I can't feel anything. That's my leg you're pinching. Oh, sorry. Are you all right? Yes, no. You're very snug, thank you. Don't worry. We'll soon be there. We're safe. Safe? I've broken every single bone in my body. Where are we? We'll see. You saved us, Spiller. You and George. Come on. This way. First, uh, don't look down, remember? I can't get up there. Of course you can, Mother. Come on, let's keep going. Come on. <laughs> Give me a hand. Must be little Andrietti. Ah, Arietti. Ah. Oh, Andrieri, they're here at last. Now, you don't remember who this is, do you? Egaltina. Egaltina? Yes. She's a very, very lucky girl, weren't you, dear? That horrible cat dropped her. Oh. Egaltina. Oh, it is wonderful to see you all again, Loopy. It really is. Hey, come and sit down, everybody, before you fall down. You poor dear creature. Oh, I'm all right, Loopy. Don't worry about me. Oh, but we do. We do worry. 
<gasps> you ought to have plenty to eat and lots of rest. <laughs> You're safe now, Homily. Yeah, she looks half starved. Oh, Arietty. <laughs> you sit there. <sighs> we found a splendid new home for you. It's not under the clock, but you'll have everything you need. It's a quiet house, is it? Oh, yes. Two sisters, both very short-sighted. Mm, ideal. Where's Spiller? Spiller? Oh, somewhere around, I suppose. He's very odd, a real rough diamond. He saved our lives. Oh, how dramatic. And so did George, as a matter of fact. Arietti. And uh, who is George? A boy. A boy? You don't mean a human being. Yes. He's a friend of ours. Friend? <laughs> you can't be friends with a human being. Why not? Why not? I feel quite faint at the thought of it. If it wasn't for George, we'd all be dead. He was the one that carried us here. Carried you? With his hands? <laughs> it was nothing. Nothing? Just imagine it. No, no, I'd rather not. If you don't mind, I think I'll go and lie down. Come, child, look after your mother. I think I had better show you your new home. <clears throat> and this is directly beneath the pantry. See the large knot hole makes it very handy for borrowing. Easy job build a ladder up there. Isn't it, homily? Oh, yes. Yeah. We could have the kitchen here. Nice and roomy. Mm. Mm. Hot and cold water pipes. Ah, oh, simple job to tap those. Is, is that a gas pipe, Andreary? Oh, yes. So you won't have to worry about coal fires. A gas supply. Oh, pod. A stove. A gas stove, just there. Plenty of space. And um, the bedroom's through here, and the kitchen here, as I said. And, well, we can have the storeroom here. I can see it all, already. Well, that's it. I don't think you'll find anything better anywhere else in the entire house. Supper. Oh, Pod, it's wonderful. What do you think, Arietti? Yes, it's very nice. What is it? It's perfect for you. And it's safe. And I know you'll make it really comfortable. And it's near the back door, so it'll be easy to get in and out. In and out? But this is your home. Your new home. It's wonderful, and we'll be really happy here. I know that. I do. It's just that... Just what? It's just that I can't go back to being cooped up anymore. <sighs> You've grown up so quickly. She has to spread her wings, homily. I know. Thank you. If you go out, don't forget your jumper. <laughs> well...
Hello, George. I'm off to school. When? Tomorrow. So, no more Mrs. Driver. I'm not frightened of her anymore. No. You're not frightened of anyone. I'm not. Not now. I shall miss you, George. We all will. You saved our lives. I found your diary. George! I'd like you to have it. So you don't forget me. Thanks. And you won't forget me, will you? Never. It's all right then. I'd better be off. George, before you go, could you just do me one last favour? Can I'm not deaf. 